I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and, and today's question comes to us from Ryan, who is between jobs and wants to know what he can do to secure employment and get hired. Now, of course, the absolute best thing you can do is have affluent parents or have gone to the same prep school as your employer. Uh, but not everyone is so fortunate, and as such, the normal platitudes about working hard and having a diverse skill set and all that apply. However, there is the trouble that no matter how prepared you are, what your CV looks like, the education you've attained, you might still stumble at that crucial moment, that seemingly arbitrary ritual that is required, known as the job interview. And as such, we have uh, prepared a little simulation to, to help you see some of the do's and don'ts of what does and doesn't work. And as such, I've uh, invited my uh, duplicitous doppelganger, PH, to help us out. So, let's get to it, shall we? Ah, Mr. Lovecraft, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Do you prefer Mr. Lovecraft or, or something else? Just call me Angel of the Morning. I think I'll, I'll stick with Mr. Lovecraft. Um, now, I've looked over your resume, I've, I've gone through your references, they're all impeccable, so I just want to know a little bit more about you. Why are you interested in uh, working here with us? Well, you see, how I, I'm a people person. I love the idea of just getting out there, meeting folks, pressing the flesh. You know how it is. Get my face out there. This operation you got here seems the best way to go about that. I see. And, and what, what strengths do you think you'll bring to the position? Well, I possess a certain moral and gymnastic flexibility, which I find is very sought after in the corporate world. And uh, what are your weaknesses? Cold iron. Fair enough. Uh, finally, should um, all this work out, where do you see yourself in, in five years? I see myself standing on an infinite beach of silver sand, staring out over waters reflecting nothing. Just no stars, no moons, just perfect empty blackness. The only way you're able to separate sky from water is that there are these barely perceived ripples and disturbances out there which indicate some thing of impossible size and unfathomable depths that just make some part of your brain scream at some unperceived notion of horror. So, upper management. Yeah, so, HR. All right, well, well thank you so much. You know, the last time I had a real job interview was uh, right after I moved to Canada. Uh, I was on what was called a restricted visa. Uh, I meant that um, until I had been vetted for certain infectious diseases like um, tuberculosis or things like that, uh, I couldn't work in what they deem sensitive work environments like uh, schools or hospitals. Anyway, uh, when I was interviewing for this job, that came up, and the guy asked, oh, what does uh, this mean? And I, of course, said, oh, I just can't be around children. I then caught myself and said, oh, no, 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 I mean, I might have tuberculosis. And then I went on to actually explain the, the, the whole thing. Um, and then I got hired and put in the kids department. So, you know, sometimes job interviews don't go like you expect. I hope that helps. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.